Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to do a live on security policy configurations. So basically, we are do we are going to do inter-zone routing here. So this is my network diagram. So I have a I have a Palo Alto firewall on Ethernet one slash one connected. I have connected PC one on Ethernet one slash two connected PC two. And Ethernet one slash one, the IP address will be 192.168.68.10.1. And on Ethernet one slash two, the IP address will be 192.168.20.1. So I have connected uh, for management. I have connected cloud one, so I can access this Palo Alto firewall from my PC itself. So in inter zone routing, we are going to do these steps. We are we are going to follow these steps. Uh, first, we will create two zone trust and DMZ. Then we will add this Ethernet one slash one to trust and Ethernet one slash two to DMZ. After that, uh, we will configure both both interfaces e Ethernet one slash one and one slash two. On Ethernet one slash one, we will assign this IP address. On Ethernet 1 slash 2, we are going to assign 20.1, and then we will also configure the PC1 and PC2. We will assign same uh, in, in the same subnet IP address 10.10. .10. On PC2, it will be 20.20. .20. And next, we are going to configure a security rule so we can allow this inter-zone routing. And finally, we are going to verify the reachability. So we will start from creating two different zones. So we need to go under network zone add first we'll create trust and this is for layer 3 interface and next we are going to create DMZ and this is also for the layer 3 interface and next we are going to configure the interface on ethernet one slash one this is layer three virtual router we are going to use same as a default and the security zone will be trust and next ethernet one slash two this is also layer three interface and we are going to use same default router default default and next uh, this will be DMZ okay so after adding these interface we are going to configure both the interface so we will assign these IP address on both the interfaces so first on Ethernet 1 slash 1 we are going to assign static IP address 192.168.10.1 slash 24 and we are also going to allow ping on this interface so we can verify the reachability so to allow the ping we need to go under advanced management profile so there is no profile so we need to create one profile here so allow ping we can give any name so we are going to allow telnet ssh ping okay okay and same we are going to do on ethernet 1 slash 2 ipv4 add the ip address will be 192.168.20.1 slash 24 and under advance we are going to allow ping on this interface to allow ping okay okay and next what we are going to do after configuring both the interface assign IPs on both the PC so we are going to assign IP on both the PC first on PC1 on PC1 we are going to assign 10.10 .10. so the IP will be IP 192.168.10.10 .10. and the subnet mask will be slash 24 so and the default gateway will be 10.1192.168.10.1 .1. so it's checking the duplicates in the network so it's got this IP address 10.1 same thing we are going to on P, uh, we are going to do on PC2 console 
so here we are going to assign 20.20 20. so the IP will be IP 192 168 20.20 20. subnet mask will be slash 24 and the gateway will be 192.168.20.1 okay so you can verify show IP 192 so 20.20 .20 same thing we can also verify on pc1 show ip 10.10 gateway is 10.1 so after assigning the ips on both the pc we are going to configure security rules so we can allow inter-zone routing so we need to go under policies so by default you can see inter-zone default by default it is denied so we need to create a new rule here allow trust to DMZ we are going to allow inter-zone routing between trust to DMZ and source will be trust destination will be DMZ here you can use any like if you want to uh, configure this security rule for a specific user then you can give those user name here so but here we are going to allow for all the users application for any application services any under action we are going to allow it now after these configuration we are going to commit Now commit is successful so we are going to verify the reachability first we are going to ping the gateway 192.168.10.1 same thing we are going to do on PC2 192.168.10.1 sorry ping 192, 192 20 so it's reachable now we are going to ping the pc to 192.168.20.20 so it's pinging from pc1 to pc2 we, we are going to verify same on pc2 ping 192 to 168 20 dot sorry it, it should be 10 dot 10 it's getting timed out we are going to verify this why so here it is getting timed out I think it is because of the security rules so we are going to allow from both the side let's add DMC as well here and trust once again we will commit now commit is successful we'll verify once again yeah so the pack, uh, ICMP packet were getting timed out because of the security rules earlier we allowed the packet from only trust to DMZ that's why we were able to ping from PC1 to PC2 however we didn't allow from DMZ to trust that's why the packet were getting timed out we added both both sides uh, we also allowed from DMZ to trust and after allowing this we are able to ping from both the PC PC1 to PC2 and PC2 to PC1 that's all for this video in next video we are going to do NAT configuration we will create a topology on NAT configuration and we'll do source NATing
that's all for this video thank you so much for watching